Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we'll take a closer look at the most important components inside of your computer, your laptop, your desktop or your smartphone. So we're going to explore the internal hardware, the physical parts that make your device work. This is the foundation of every piece of technology we use and after this video you'll have a clear understanding of what's going on inside. The motherboard is the heart of your computer. It's one large circuit board to which all the important components are connected. It links the processor, the memory and all the other hardware components we'll talk about in a minute. Without the motherboard, your computer wouldn't be able to function. It makes sure all the parts can communicate with each other. The first thing you'll usually find in the center of a motherboard is the processor. This central processing unit, or CPU, is the brain of the computer. It performs calculations and processes the data your computer needs to do things, like opening a program or typing a document. Every time you do something, your computer gives a task to the CPU to carry out. The processor's speed is measured in hertz, megahertz, gigahertz. The higher that number, the more tasks the processor can perform per second. Modern processors often have multiple cores, and each core has its own computing power. This means that a CPU with multiple cores can do several things at once, and a lot faster. To process data, the CPU also needs memory. This internal memory is crucial for the speed and efficiency of your computer. There are two important types of internal memory, RAM and ROM. RAM, or random access memory, is your computer's temporary memory. It holds the data the processor is actively working on, like when you're typing a document or editing a video. A text file you're working on, but haven't saved yet, is only stored in the RAM. If you shut down your computer at that moment, Everything in your RAM is lost, including anything you didn't save. That means that the more RAM you have, the more programs you can run simultaneously with all that unsaved data. ROM, or read-only memory, is permanent memory. It contains essential information your computer needs to get started. Even when your computer is turned off, the contents of the ROM remain. So unlike RAM, which, as we've seen, is completely erased when the power goes off. Computers can get very hot while working, especially the processor. That's why cooling is a very important component. A cooler is usually placed on top of the processor to carry away heat and keep the temperature at a safe level, so the processor doesn't overheat, or in extreme cases even melts. Some computers, especially gaming PCs, have special fans or even liquid cooling systems to keep the processor even cooler, allowing users to push the processor even further. When the processor has finished turning all that data into information, you of course need storage to keep it. Your documents, photos, programs and games, everything takes up a number of kilobytes, megabytes or even gigabytes and they are stored on storage media, or external memory. The two most common storage types are hard drives and solid state drives, or SSDs. Traditional hard drives are relatively cheap and offer a lot of storage, but they tend to wear out over time because they have moving parts inside. SSDs don't have that problem. They're faster, more energy efficient and more reliable but also more expensive. You pay more per gigabyte of storage. Most modern computers use SSDs for their speed and reliability, though large traditional hard drives are still used for bulk, low-cost storage. To upgrade or expand your computer, you can add the so-called expansion cards through the PCI slots on the motherboard. These expansion cards add extra functionality, like for a graphics card, sound cards or network cards. 
For gamers and graphic designers working with heavy 3D applications, a powerful graphics card is essential. So if your computer doesn't have a built-in GPU, you can add one through one of those expansion slots. To connect to other computers or to the internet, your computer needs a network card. It can be completely wireless or it can have a UTP port for a network cable. You'll learn more about networks in our video that focuses entirely on that topic. Nowadays, motherboards already have many features built in, like the network connection or the graphics processing unit or even sound systems. That's why for many tasks you no longer need separate expansion cards. All these components of course need electricity to work and that's the job of the power supply. The power supply unit converts the electricity from your wall socket into the correct voltage that the different parts of your computer need. Different computers need different types of power supply depending on how much power they require. The less power a computer uses, the more energy efficient and the better for the environment and your wallet. So, now you've gotten a peek inside your computer, from the processor over the cooling system to the working memory. Each component has its own role to play, so your computer can help you do what you need. And that concludes this video about internal hardware. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it with people you know and subscribe to the channel. Have a look around, maybe you'll find some other stuff that might be of interest to you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you for a next Begrepen video.